Welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. Okay, you guys, staying healthy, it is a topic everyone is talking about, obviously because of the time of year we're in, obviously because we're in a pandemic, all the things. So building your immune system is so important, and there's a way to do it in an affordable way. So I decided to have Dr. Axe back on. He's a popular doctor of natural medicine, creator of draxe.com, and host of the podcast, The Dr. Axe Show. So Dr. Axe, welcome back. Hey, Rachel. Uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so glad. So this is a topic, obviously, your health. Yep. Have you been busier than ever? I feel like I, in the I last really, two years. I really have. You know, and I'm getting more questions than ever, whether it be on social media channels or my mom texting me. But, you know, there's, uh, you know, lots of questions about the immune system right now, obviously. For sure, absolutely. Okay, so, so what are some ways, some just basic ways we can boost the immune system just in a simple way? Well, I think the first thing to remember, and and by the way, I love your question, is there are things we can do, right? I think sometimes people That's feel fair. powerless, like, oh, there's really nothing I can do to— to, to strengthen my immune system, there's actually a lot you can do. Number one, using food as medicine. You know, there are foods rich in certain nutrients like vitamin C and zinc and vitamin D that support our immune systems. And then keeping stress low, better sleep is important, light exercise, all of these things help. But I really think food is the biggest way we can really naturally support and boost our immune systems right now. Okay, so that's a great point. Okay, so off the top of your head, what are a couple of foods that you're like, this is— here are four things I would absolutely add to my diet if someone has it yet. Yeah, so I would say, and by the way, what I'm sharing, a lot of this is ancient forms of medicine. So according to ancient medicine, both biblical medicine and ancient Chinese medicine, what they found is foods that are a certain color strengthen the immune system. Okay. Foods that are light yellow tend to be the most immune strengthening or foods that are white. So think about chicken broth. Anytime that I, now I, I bet your parents, you know, when you when you you were sick as a kid, I know that's is what happened yes, to me. Yes. My mom gave me chicken noodle soup, <laughs> and then she also gave me ginger ale, which I look back at had like forty <laughs> grams of sugar. Totally. <laughs> but the ancient remedy throughout the Asia uh, eastern area of the world, when someone got sick with it, with cold and flu, was chicken bone broth and ginger herbal tea. Nobody says when you're sick drink beef broth. It's always chicken. There are very, very unique forms of collagen and other nutrients that actually strengthen the gut lining, which is where 70% of your immune system lives. Mm. So bone broth, specifically chicken broth, is the number one superfood for supporting gut and immune system health. Yeah. Ginger, a very powerful herb, you can simply make ginger tea, buy ginger, grate it, or buy the powder. You can put it in different recipes. Garlic and onions or that uh, light uh -huh. color as well, have tremendous benefits. And there's actually a type of soup many people have maybe had if they've gone to an Asian restaurant, miso soup. Yes. Very good for the immune system. So those light yellow foods I'd put up on the list. In addition, foods rich in vitamin C. Uh, papaya, citrus fruits like lemons and limes and grapefruit and oranges are fantastic. Strawberries and kiwis are actually very high in, high in vitamin C. And there's a few vegetables, broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, bell peppers, and cabbage are also rich in vitamin C. So I could go on and on, but I, I would say it. vitamin C rich foods and those light yellow color foods are probably the most immune boosting foods okay. there are. Okay, that is so funny you said that about chicken noodle soup and ginger ale because I'm like, I was like in the 80s, you know, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. like, that's like all, yeah, that's like a thousand percent what my mom would give me. And it does because it, it traces back to all that. That's fascinating. Okay, and I love this too because in an affordable way, like everyone, you're having to eat no matter what. And so being able to plug in these elements of your yep. food that are that obviously are helping boost your immune system in this time, like it's that's so key because you're gonna have to buy food anyway, so might as well do it well. And bang for your buck, you can you can get you can make chicken broth at home for a very affordable. In fact, what most people are discarding, which is where you know the uh, the animal tissue that has all the collagen. That's what a, a lot of people from. are getting rid yeah. of. And so, you know, you can actually, you can go to your grocery store and buy chicken feet. Um, and that's where, I mean, that's literally where all the collagen lies or where, where you're pulling out all the things that make bone broth or chicken broth. So there are very affordable ways to do this. You can buy it in both the frozen section and in the packaged goods section of pretty much every grocery store on the planet. Yep. Uh, so I do think, you know, getting, getting chicken broth is, you know, probably the number one thing we can do. And do that not even when you're sick. That's right, all the time. Yes. It's a great preventative measure. Okay, okay, I'm sure the answer is yes to this, but I just have to know, like in your own personal life, are you very intentional with like, this is what I'm gonna eat for breakfast, and I'm gonna have certain 
but like I, I'm doing, yeah. like you're very, very intentional with each meal and what you're putting in your body, not just from a processed natural yep. standpoint, but even the vitamin standpoint, like, do you know what I mean? Like even that? A hundred percent. And some of it depends on the time of year. So just to give an example, uh, the, you've probably heard of circadian rhythms, right? To where when the sun goes down, your melatonin goes up to help you sleep at night, cortisol's higher during the day. We also have seasonal rhythms that affect our hormones differently, which, keeps certain organs stronger and others a little bit weaker. So to give you an example, your liver is very strong in the spring. So the springtime is the best time to do a liver detox, where the fall is not the most ideal time. In the fall, you wanna be really supporting the immune system and gearing that up for winter. And so in the fall, you wanna be really loading up on foods that are the light orange, the, the yellow. So a lot of the foods I just mentioned yeah. are really ideal. And then there's certain supplements, cinnamon, is fantastic mm. this time of year. It's gonna support your pancreas, your blood sugar, that also can support your immune system. So getting, especially cinnamon and ginger, it's a lot of the foods we crave, right? People are moving in the fall. They're like, yeah, I want totally. my pumpkin spice <laughs> latte and my pumpkin pie and my turkey and all of the things we love at Thanksgiving, right? That's, that's, that's innately within us. Like our body is craving certain foods this time of year in preparation of strengthening our immune systems. So fascinating. Yeah. Okay, so is there, a, do you think that, like, do people know, I mean, people probably, like you said, it's ancient medicine, right? It's biblical, it's Chinese, all that. Is it, like that type of food, that is Thanksgiving food, like everything you said. Is there a reason for that? Like, was that a coincidence that that yeah, all happened? You know, I think the way that God set things up is that's when you're having your your, your fall harvest, right? These yeah. are the things that are ripe and ready to eat that time of yeah, year. Yeah, I guess that's true, and yeah. So, so that seasonal eating, similar thing, you know, certain vegetables that, uh, you know, you're starting to get a lot of those green leafies in the spring. That's naturally what's growing. Yeah, so I think what's natural to your region is really the way we should be eating is, is local and seasonal. Oh my gosh. It's like one of those things I'm like, I've never thought about that, yeah. <laughs> but it makes complete yeah. sense. Okay, so obviously the food is great for the immune system. That's yep. like you said, food is medicine. That is that is so key. You mentioned sleep. Yep. And this is free too. This doesn't cost you anything. And we just don't get enough sleep. I mean, you hear this all the time from, or I do, from studies, books. Like you hear people talk about it. And it's probably true, right? People are running on fumes. Yep. They're staying up late. They're having to get up early, all of it. So walk us through just some good, healthy patterns of sleep that can help with the immune system. Yeah, the key for almost everybody is get to bed earlier. I mean, that is the key. If you have an alarm to get up at night, have an alarm to go to bed, shut off the TV earlier, or listen to a book on tape or something like that is a good thing to do, even if you're gonna yeah. get in bed earlier, if you want something to sort of uh, you know entertain you yet help you fall asleep. There's a few things I do. Um, Chelsea and I, my wife, we have a weighted blanket. Actually, it is fantastic. Winston like, Grays will love you right now. He asked me well, that for Christmas two years ago. Hey, good for, <laughs> he it, hey, good for you guys, because weighted <laughs> blankets have been shown in clinical studies. You actually feel like someone is is hugging you. So all the studies show your anxiety levels yes, go down, your melatonin goes up. And so we just bought a weighted blanket online, and we use that. That's great for sleep, keeping your room a little colder if you can. Um, not doing a lot of carbs and sugar before bed helps too. But I would say, yeah, getting good. I saw a study recently that said, compared to 100 years ago, we get probably two hours less of sleep a night because of all of the you know computer screens and TVs, all of the light that is keeping people up. Yeah. But yes, sleep, if somebody gets less than seven hours of sleep a night, I think the stats are it close to triples their risk of getting a cold, cold or flu. So getting more than seven hours a night is really critical to health. That is so good. Okay, well, I'll say this. We are not perfect in the cruise household, but we yeah. do go to bed early. Winston and I have been known that we're not, we have friends over. It gets to be like 8, 30, 9. Like, we oh, got to go. Okay. The cruises oh, yeah. are going to oh, sleep. Because yeah. we're just like, we are not night people yeah. at all. So we, we do. We go That's to bed great. early. We do wake up early, but we go to bed early. Okay, so cold and flu season is kind oh. of upon us right now. Yeah. What, is it inevitable? Like, it's like... Is there a way to avoid it besides everything we just talked about? Is there other stuff that people can be doing? Because they're gonna be visiting family. Yeah. Obviously, COVID is in people's heads of like with family and all of that yeah. still. But just, you know, your normal cold and flu season, I feel like it's just kind of, it's, I think it's changed well, a little well, even in the last two years. Well, one of the things I think people need to remember is, is that you shouldn't live in a state of fear. I mean, a lot of this produced by media and other things is like, we really believe we should have faith over fear. Like we have a big God, he created an incredible body and we just need to support our body the best we can. Here's the other thing to remember is, again, your immune system is powerful. Just like you uh, can train a muscle, for instance, like you can build a bicep or, or, or a quadricep muscle or some, your different muscles, mm -hmm. 
you can train and strengthen your immune system. Your immune system gets stronger every time it beats a cold or flu. So think about it, if you naturally get um, the flu and you beat it, now your immune system is actually more adapted and ready to, it's stronger now, to beat the next virus down the road. So it's important to know that your immune system, but you're more able and capable to beat a virus if your immune system is stronger as well. So yeah, yeah. that's why getting vitamin C, uh, you know, getting sunshine, you know, when you can, getting that vitamin D is yes. critical for health too. So I, I think what I would encourage people to do is take control of your health, Take responsibility for you and your family, and don't live in a state of fear. Just do everything you can just to strengthen your body's own immune system. And what we're seeing here statistically with people, and really this is almost any virus, people are most susceptible to viruses if they have a pre-existing condition. Yeah. And so, and there's really three main ones that we're seeing. It's it's obesity, it's being, being over uh, far overweight, it is diabetes and it's heart disease. And so if you can also change your diet, we know using herbs like turmeric reduces your risk of heart disease. Turmeric and garlic and green tea and mm. eating a healthier diet. We know that people can lose weight, right? And people can reverse diabetes if they start, if they cut the carbs, add in more healthy fats and things like collagen and more nutrients. So we can make a huge, huge difference with our immune systems. And I would say in terms of supplements, you know, uh, first off, remember food first. Supplements are for supplementing an already healthy diet. Okay. So if people are going to invest and spend on their health, you know, buy in bulk at places like Costco or Amazon or you know, or your local you know grocery store or farmers market. But get quality foods number one. Yeah. If people want to take just a couple supplements for their immune system, I like collagen and probiotics for preventative measures. Yeah. And then if somebody is feeling ill, echinacea elderberry, and then probably vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc are the things that are, are gonna help them the most. Okay, my sister-in-law literally has a zinc block in her mouth but she wow. like, that okay. she like, will yeah. like, wow. have, like at least once a week, I'll be talking to her, I'm like, do you have do you have zinc in your mouth right now? She's like, I am, so I am, funny. I'm gonna, oh yeah. But she's like, a lot of people are low in zinc, so. Yeah, she's like all about it, all about it. Okay, so vitamin D, that's another great one. I and, would say in the middle of- And that's free. The, right, the sun. Like yeah. you just go if, out. Number let's... one, if you can get it from the sun, it's the most effective way to get it. If you are, let's say, in the middle of winter though, and you your skin yeah. has not seen the sun in three months, especially if you live up north, in that case, it can be good to take a supplement for those people. Okay. And by the way, if you ever want to check your vitamin D levels, you can do an online test for around fifty dollars and know what, what your levels are. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's so good. Okay, so again, the holidays are here. Yeah. People are hearing all this eat healthy, eat greens. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, but they're thinking, okay, how do I how do I incorporate that mindset into Thanksgiving Christmas? Do you have a couple of like easy recipes just off the top of your yeah, head I do. of here are some things you can eat during these holidays that are good for you, help boost the immune system, but also are festive and part of the holidays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Chelsea and I, and my wife is an amazing cook, and we, we like to cook for Thanksgiving and the holidays awesome. together. But uh, we do pumpkin pie. And what we'll do is we'll do a crust that's made of something like nuts, like pecans, and so yeah. or a gluten-free crust. And then we just put in a little less sugar, you know? And so that's one thing we do. If we do sugar, we actually typically do more maple syrup or honey or coconut sugar, so we use more of a natural sweetener. And we'll add in a little bit of extra cinnamon and that sort of thing. If we use ice cream, we'll buy coconut milk or oat milk ice cream. So anyways, we're just using healthier ingredients, trying to lower that sugar content a little bit as well. And then we are, we're trying not to just go overkill on the carbs, but here's the thing. Hey, if it's one day and it's Thanksgiving and you wanna do mashed potatoes and pumpkin <laughs> pie and cranberry sauce and sweet potato, all the stuff, Hey, it's okay. It's not that one day that gets somebody sick. It's that you're doing it the week before and then you're traveling and then when you get home, you're, you know, it's, yes. it's just overdoing it. It's not the one day thing. So I would say, hey, have fun on Thanksgiving, spend time with family, eat what you'd like. But around that time, try and get more vegetables and or and meat, vegetables and organic meat. Mm -hmm. And and that's that, that's gonna help out tremendously. That's so good. And and that and even just cutting back the sugar. Like yes. what you just said. I was like, because that's that's what always gets people on the holidays too, I feel yep. like. Okay, so we talked about sleep, food is medicine, vitamin D, the sun. Yep. Okay, what other free things or inexpensive things can people do for their health? Yeah, there, there's a lot people can do to strengthen their immune system without without spending money. And I'll, I'll give you a couple examples. One is exercise, right? Just move. Yeah. And when people hear exercise, sometimes that sounds intimidating, even walking. 
You know, getting outside for 20 minutes a day and just going on a brisk walk does wonders for the, your immune system. It is so powerful, especially if you can do it just around any type of nature and the trees or just a walk through the neighborhood makes a big difference. The second thing is doing what I call a spiritual triathlon. Essentially, it's working on your spiritual growth, working mm. on building your faith and a hopeful mindset. You mm. know, there's a study out, and this is really mind-blowing, 80% of doctor visits are related to stress. Interesting. So if somebody if, if somebody's watching too much of the news or they have a stressful situation in their family or at work, you know, that actually raises stress hormones like cortisol, which then weakens the immune system. And so one of the things I do and the way I start off every morning is I start off uh, just, just saying everything I'm grateful for. So I start off praising God, saying, hey, I'm so grateful for my wife. I'm so grateful for a mission in life I love. So I start my day off that way. And then I'll read something like the Bible or a spiritual growth book. Mm -hmm. And then I'll spend the next five minutes either meditating and thinking about, let's say I read you know, 1 Corinthians and I'm reading like, love is patient, love is kind. Like I'll think about that, how I need to implement my life or in pray, you know, connect yeah. with God. But yeah. I found when I spend time reading the Bible and spiritual growth books and connecting with God first thing in the morning and to build my faith, it really takes that fear, it drives it down, my faith goes up. And, and that is probably, and I'm, I'm not just saying this, it literally is even statistically, scientifically, mm. the most powerful thing we can do to strengthen our immune system. Wow. What fear does is it drives your adrenal, your adrenal glands which then start to tax and weaken your whole immune system if they get into overdrive. And so literally by reducing that stress, strengthening your faith, it does wonders for the immune system. So I've always known this because I feel like it's, I mean, not common sense by any means, but you know how everything in your life is connected, right? Whether it's your spiritual, emotional, physical. I've heard someone say the yeah. issues are in the tissues, right? There when you're God, like stressed good. out, like it's, it does, your body responds in that way. And so I love that idea because it is this holistic way of looking at your life and your health and, and as someone of faith, and not all of you out there watching this are, but there is something to be said of a peace that you have mm -hmm. and what that does. And I love that you, you, you connect that so much to fear because I think that there are a lot of things right now in our world. I mean, whether it's national affairs or, or politics or the, or COVID or, uh, financial situations, we I mean, all are right. There's a, yeah. there's a lot of things right now that are causing that. And so when you can get above your own self yep. and know that there's something greater that, yeah. that is there and, and is for you, uh, it does. It does wonders. It does wonders to your life. So I, I love that. I love that you yeah. can circle back to that because it does. It makes so much sense. So yeah. much sense. Okay, so great. Okay, where can everyone find you? Because I'm sure people are itching to say, oh my gosh, I want more. I want more. Yeah, uh, you can find me at drax.com. That's just D-R-A-X-E.com. I've got a website there where you can look up any of these foods. You can, if you've got a health problem, let's say hypothyroidism, you can search Dr. Axe Hypothyroidism. I've written articles and recommendations on things. And then social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, just Dr. J. Josh Axe, and then I own a supplement company called Ancient Nutrition. We're in health food stores and Whole Foods Market and Target with uh, you know collagen, probiotic supplements, and that sort of thing. Okay, so one question I do like to ask yeah. people: What is one thing that you're doing with your money that you're enjoying right now? It's creating a life that you love. Wow, um, I would say um, I mean buying toys for my my daughter who's a year and five <laughs> months old. You know yeah. we. Uh, I mean, she, she is just at, this, I was telling you before, like just at this perfect age so of, sweet. you know, we brought her to the zoo recently and, you know, she wanted to get a stuffed animal and like, she just goes, first off, she just goes and grabs it and starts running away with it. We're like, no, we have to, you know, totally, we totally. have to pay for yes, this, but yes. I would say that's that's definitely one oh, of those things. Oh, so, so fun. That's such a fun season too. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, so great. Well, thanks again, Dr. Axe. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.